Hi, I'm Di with Sister Chicks Quilting. Thank you for tuning into my channel. First time in a report that I'm alive and well. I was a little sick last week when I filmed, a little left over from the you know what. Thank you to everybody who wrote in and wished me well. It made me feel so much better. I still am a little bit congested and frankly, it's weird I'm a little bit tired. It's a cold February day, so I'm wearing my bare skin here. <laughs> Love my bare skin. It just, it keeps me warm. Super cold, below 30 degrees, and can't wait for spring to come. I also, because of COVID, missed my hair appointment. So my hair looks like quap, and I have an appointment on Friday. Today's Wednesday. I can't wait to get my hair done. So long I can't do anything with it. So forgive me, but I'll hang out with you anyway. Let me show you what I've got going here. See this? Isn't that cute? They're leftovers from my Scrap Jar Stars quilt. Remember I made the green blocks? And this is what I wanted to show you. I have all of these leftover pieces. Look at that. These little two inch squares, green two inch squares, sewed to a white two inch square. And I have plenty of them in, and I'm showing you the back, how lame is that? Oh, I actually have two sewn together as a four patch. But anyway, I thought certainly I can come up with something to make an Irish chain pillow for my pillow cover this month. And I, and, and this hit me and I thought, oh, use this. You've already got it cut out. So I'm using a two inch square and a white two inch square. Some of them I'm unpicking because what you do is you sew a six patch together like that obviously and then you need a colored a green a white and a green right here excuse me and I just take one of them apart and and I make these little nine patch blocks which you see here now I measured with the tape measure just a real rough measurement remember my pillow form my feather pillow form is 22 inches so these across from here to here are about 20 inches. No big deal. I'm going to cut the white blocks to fit. By the way, I am going to square these up first so it'll go together easier. And then I'll make the top and I will use a white border to go ahead and finish the border so it's the size of the pillow that I want. I wanted to show you something. I'm really loving using the binding on the edge of the pillow. It's giving me, first off, it's easier than turning. For me, it's easier than using piping for me. It's just, I'm so good at binding. It's so easy to bind that flat pillow. So look what I found in my fat quarter bin. Isn't that the cutest? So this is what the pillow is going to be bound with. And it's just going to be a green Irish chain. Let me get going. I'm going to square the blocks up to four and a half inches. I'm using a little four and a half inch Omnigrid ruler and my rotating cutting mat. And I will just square them up because it's going to make construction so much easier. Yes, I know my blades open, it's over there. Here I go again, just so you can see it's easy if you have the right tools. I do have some anti-grip, or an, I'm sorry, anti-slip on the back of my rulers, and it helps quite a bit to make it so it's really not slippery. But in truth, you're working on a bumpy surface, surface because you have all these seams down here. And I didn't even take time to open the seams up. I am doing this quick and dirty and I am going to square them up though. I'm using the grid lines to line up as best I can on the seams, but at four and a half inches on each one, there we go. That's gonna tell me how big to make my white squares in the middle, which, oh, would be four and a half inches. Now I'm 
going to need some four and a half inch white strips. First thing I'm going to do is make sure I have an edge and I'm lining the line on my ruler up with the bottom of my folded fabric here. I don't, I really don't want to get up and get another ruler. I'm doing it with my 12 and a half inch ruler and my four inch grid. Let me show you how I do that. So notice I'm not using the lines on the cutting mat. My cutting mat is starting to wear out and I want to preserve it as long as I can. So I'm going to go ahead and use the lines on my ruler and I want a four and a half inch strip. So I'm going to lay this four and a half inch ruler out like this so it's at the edge of the fabric and then I'm going to butt this one up next to it and lining it up on the fabric. There. I'm going to pull this one away and then I'm going to cut a perfect four and a half inch strip. Isn't that cool? Now I need, let's see, I have to count, but I've got two, four, six, eight. So I'm going to need eight four and a half inch strips. Hopefully I can get them out from the selvage. Let's see. And to cut that, I am just going to use my four and a half inch square ruler. So I'm going to lay it right on the fabric like so. There's one, which I do have to trim the selvages off. Actually, that would be two because this is doubled. There's four. Here is number six. Number eight. I'm going to start in the corner, put a white one out, and another white one. See a white one here, and a white one there. And this green one there. There we go. Want a white strip here. Now this is the basic Irish chain pattern. And the cool thing about this pattern is it's just a nine patch with a white patch in between. The same size as the square. And can you imagine a whole quilt of this? They're stunning. They're absolutely phenomenal. I love, 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 love Irish chains. Don't want that dark one there. I'm going to turn it and put that one more to the end. And here is this guy here. And let's see. I think I'll put this guy here. And then I have one extra square, that number nine that I cut. So that's my layout. What do you think? Isn't that going to be a fun sofa pillow on my fun feather pillow that my Hazel is wearing out? I can't wait to change it because she thinks it's her pink pillow as I still have the Valentine's <laughs> cover on it. It may look like I'm sliding the iron, but I'm actually picking it up. You don't want to, when you iron, or when you press, that's what you want to do. You don't want to stretch out your project. Okay, so math isn't my strong suit. <laughs> that's why I married the engineer, right? <laughs> and he does all of my math for me. Well, I ran the numbers on my calculator, and guess what? I need to add four and a half inches to make it a pillow. So what am I thinking? I am just going to make it a huge Irish chain. I'm going to make more blocks for it. Let me show you. I'm going to go another row on the bottom and another row on the side and that will give me the four and a half inches. And so back to the sewing table, let me make some more of my nine patches because I certainly have the fabric. <laughs> so I'm squatting down because I have the camera aimed to my long arm. I've got my top completely pieced, isn't it, darling? I think that's going to be the cutest pillow. I'm so excited. I feel like Kilroy. Remember this? A Kilroy. <laughs> anyway, I'm going to go ahead and just run an edge-to-edge -edge design on this with my long arm. 
and this is the back that I've chosen. It's a polka dot, and you know why I chose it? Because it was green, and it's all I had. And I'm doing this literally from my scraps, so I am not buying anything for this pillow. Let me go ahead and quilt it, and I'll show you some quilting. Then we'll put the pillow together. So I'm back from the quilt studio. I had to go so far. <laughs> anyway, just, yeah, just out to my garage. But this is the design I ran on the quilt. And I just, it's called Celtic Vines. I thought it was fun, it's pretty, and it's a little Irish, but it's not four leaf clovers. I really didn't want the four leaf clover look. Now on the back, I just have cheap muslin. I have some, I have a bunch of that around from another project I did years ago from a wedding project. And I used the same on the backing for the pillow. And this, again, I didn't buy anything. This was fabric that I had. And yeah, it's polka dot, but it's gonna be the back of the pillow. I think it's gonna be fine. Cause you know who's gonna use the pillow? Hazel and I use the pillow and we're okay with this, this polka dot green on the back. Let's go ahead and put it together. So I'm just gonna trim up the backing a little bit. Well, I have it bound. What do you think? Isn't that just the funnest? I really love doing pillows with a binding and I'm going to switch it out right now. So according to Hazel, here's her pillow. <laughs> As you can see, I made it, I made the uh, envelope too small. But you know, there might be another pillow, who knows. So just pull it out like so. Fold this one and put it on the shelf for another year. And did I tell you in my videos where I get my pillows from? My, my feather pillow? I went to Tuesday morning. They have all these pillows, tons and tons of them on the wall. And they're all super discounted. Oh yeah, this envelope is the perfect size. You really have to work these pillows in, but once they're in, they fit and they're nice. But anyway, I just bought an ugly pillow that had feathers in it that was the size I wanted. And it cost me 19 or 20 bucks. I was so excited. <laughs> Gotta work this in here. It's the way to go to get to get a nice pillow. There's my tip. There it is. Is that my gotta get these corners in? I probably should have done the other corner first. Okay. What do you think? Ta-da! Isn't that just adorable? And there's enough room on this side that it's not going to open up. So it's covered by, it's crossed seven inches, remember? And all I did, you can see, I just want to show you, I just held the seam under, I just folded it under a, a, almost a half an inch and then folded it again and I just stitched it down. I didn't even iron it down. But I'm gonna go put this on my couch and it'll be my decoration for the month of March. So, made from scraps. I didn't pay anything for this pillow, and that's why it has this polka dot back. But the back isn't gonna show. This is gonna show, and it's gonna be a lot of fun. If you like what you see in my videos, I would really appreciate you subscribing down below, or a thumbs up. And I promise, next time, next video, I'm gonna have a haircut and look a little more civilized. So, for now, Thanks for tuning in. I really appreciate it. And we'll see you next week 
I'm going to continue to explore the Irish chain because I need to make somebody a quilt and guess what it's going to be it's going to be green you know it's not easy being green but some of us have to thanks till next week bye